Hi guys, welcome back. This is Isa from Printstick and in today's video I will show you something that I think will make your digital planning experience a little better. Alright, so I recently discovered this little app which is called Pixel and what this app does is it allows you to import or take a screenshot from any image on your iPad and then you can take that photo and use a color picker that this app has to select a color and it tells you the hex code for that particular color. And why is that helpful? I will tell you in a second, but I really think that it's a great app that anyone should have. To download it, you would go to your app store, of course, and then here, if you type, the name of the app is Pixel, just like Pixel, like this. But for some reason, when I enter that, oh, let me activate my internet, there we go. When I write pixel, it just doesn't show. I didn't find that app. So there's a ton of like games and other things, but I didn't find the app that I want. So what you need to type is hex code or hex codes. Let's see. Yeah, hex code and then you get pixel and this is free. That's why it's so amazing. So just type on the search bar hex code and then it says pixel color picker plus keyboard and then tap to download and you'll have your app right here. Now, this is one of those apps that only work on portrait mode. So I'm actually going to move my iPad this way and I hope that I can get it all in the screen. So we open the app and just so you know, I just discovered this, so I've used it a little bit and what I'm gonna show you today, I have, you know, tested it, it works well, but there's other features that I haven't really played with. Just so you know, I'm not gonna give you like a full walkthrough of this app. It's a little not so intuitive, I feel. Like there's not so many buttons and stuff, but just bear with me. Okay, so I can't even fit the whole screen in uh, the video, but the only button that I'm gonna talk about today is this one that says capture, okay? So you just open your app, you tap on it, it opens, and then you have this color with this code. Now these numbers and letters are the code for this particular color this is called a hex code and that's the way to find an exact color on computers or in this case on your iPad and why this is useful is because you know I'll show you real quick when you have a planner so here I have my planner you have you know different tabs on this side um, your headers things like that that have a specific color and for example let's say that I want to wipe this Tuesday, right? So I can use a different style of um, font or something. And then if I click here, you know, sorry, my colors over here, I have a blue. You can potentially look for a color that is similar. In this case, let's see something like this, okay? And then I can use, where's my Apple Pencil here? You could, um, you know, write over it. It's like a white out except that it's not white so to get the exact color is quite difficult and for example with many of my planners I give you the hex codes so the color planner and this is the Vita planner I have shared the hex codes the main colors that I used in in this planner so for example for the Vita planner I believe that I shared all of these colors for these tabs but if you look at the left side you have a few more color combination so these could be the main ones and that's I think eight yeah and then here you have 12 tabs so that means that you have four other colors that you don't have the exact hex code for I hope that this is making sense but going back to the app oh no actually first sorry I'm going to take a screenshot of this planner so click on your top and volume button on the new iPads at the same time and that's going to take a screenshot and I'm just gonna like get rid of it for now going back to this pixel app okay the only button that we are talking about today is this one that says capture okay so when you tap there you get the option to either take a photo say yes for access permission and then you can take a photo of something that you could then get the hex color code of that thing however since it's a photo you know depending on lighting and things like that you might not get the exact tone but in this case we don't even need to do that because we have you know the ability to take a screenshot directly on the iPad so we have the exact same color whatever is on the iPad is what we're gonna capture so I click on this other icon which is my photos icon and then I go right here right this is the screenshot that I just took okay 
and then it says that you can move and scale so why, why you do that is for I don't know if you have tiny things for example let's say I want uh, the hex codes for these flags and it's just gonna make my life easier if I make it as big as possible like if I zoom in as much as possible and when you're done you know scaling and zooming in up here on the right side I hope you can see it says use so tap there okay and then this like circle appeared and all you have to do is like drag the circle to select a color okay so let's say I wanted to do this flag right so this is the flag I just drag my circle over and then you can tell like okay it starts in this like orange color this light pink is the last color just so you know which color is which because once you're here it gets so big that you can't see the image anymore so you know you need some like playing with it to make sure that you're picking the right color but anyway so I release my pencil and now the screen has that color and this is the hex code for that color and now that you have this code which is the color of the first flag of my sticker in my digital planner then I'm just going to click on this share button so I was actually wrong we are also using this button so tap here on the top left corner and then where it says copy just tap there that will copy this code okay now you go to good notes or you open your planner and this is the color that I just copied and to see if I did it right I will actually click here I have it because I just did this in the past but I'm going to um, edit and create a brand new color here you have the option to see the hex code of each color whether it's from the wheel or these squares okay but if you tap there it's just like a text box that you can edit so I double click and then I click on paste and that pasted the hex code that I just brought from the other app, from Pixel. So if I go out, now you can see that's the color that's selected and since it came from the screenshot of this sticker, now if I have my pen selected and I draw over it, it should be the exact same color. And it is, as you can see. Now, why is that helpful? Let's give you an example, let's say here I don't like that it says time so I want to get rid of this so again I'm just gonna take a screenshot by tapping on the top and volume buttons close good notes open pixel go to my capture button at the bottom here so the capture button was here right and then click on my photos icon click on that last image that I just took that's fine I can zoom in a little bit click on use at the top right here okay now use my picker to just select that color now I have the code then I go here to share copy go back to good notes and I'm going to select my pen so I can add a new color so edit plus and then hex code double tap paste and I have my color ready to be used and now what I can do is just erase this word time Okay, and then since I have that same font installed on my iPad, what I can do is write, for example, hours. Okay, and then this is my default font, but I can double tap, go to my text settings, and then select the font, which is Marketores, right here, there and choose white now I want to center this text but I have to deselect the handwriting option and make sure I have my text boxes option selected so that I can just select the text and not the color that is behind because if I have all options turned on I'm going to move both of them okay we don't want that okay so turn off the handwriting and then you can just center this you know kind of see if it's a similar size I think it's a little bit bigger so I can just resize it's a little bit just like that there we go and then I just center it and I have modified the tab on my planner here okay this is just an example I mean if I wanted this tab differently on every page I would have to use my lasso tool and copy both of these things so the text and the you know pen ink that I just used go to my next page which this is not a good example let me go back here tab and hold click on paste and then place it right on top and this is how being able to find the exact color of something can make it so useful and give you so many tools to modify your planner 
if you have a particular color set for example let's look for something in my summer bundle here let's say this set okay so i have four main colors of the stickers and i want to use some of these stickers but i also want to write for example my titles that match these uh, colors okay so for example i'm going to let's say get these boxes okay so i'm gonna lasso them all copy them go to my planner here tap and hold click and paste and you know you can arrange these whatever you want let's say over there and I'm gonna get rid of this one now I'm going to take my screenshot with these two buttons close this, go to pixel capture photos camera roll and then I zoom in a little bit use and now I can get my first color right here share copy this code go to good notes let me bring this back to portrait mode and then here i would just add my new color so edit plus double tap paste and there you go so why i did this is so that i can write down vitamins and then if I wanted to write something else with the blue color, sorry, so capture, photos, and then here I will zoom in, use, and then put my color picker over this blue box, share, copy, go to good notes, and then change this color, so add a new color, double tap, paste, and now I can write down here, workout, for example. And now I have the exact same color so it looks nicely when I mix it with this particular sticker, okay? And then you can match any sticker that you see. For example, you want to find this pastel green that is not available in your Good Notes palette or these, you know, darker tones and things like that. You can just take a screenshot, bring it to Pixel and find the exact color. So this was it for the video. I got so excited when I found out about this app. It's free, it's, you know, easy to use, very simple. So I hope that you guys test it and let me know what you think. I would love to hear. I hope it was clear on how to use it. However, if you have any questions, just drop me a comment below. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't to this channel and turn on your notifications so you know when a new video is out. And thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.